Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. So I've been wanting to make some Alice in Wonderland ATCs for quite some time now, but I just never got around to it. So when I made this book, um, if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. It is my Alice in Wonderland ATC and Artist Trading Coins uh, book. <laughs> so I want to make some cards just to trade. And um, now everything is falling down. And, uh, well, I took out some little playing cards. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> and uh, some ATCs and all my Alice in Wonderland stamps. That's quite a lot, but not enough. <laughs> so let's see. This is one of my favorites, but will it fit? First I need to find... Ooh. Well, maybe, maybe just. I really love these, but these are too big. So these are out. That's a shame. Um, these are out as well. Oh, this one is also nice. It's very small and this one is actually just a little bit too tall. Oh, but over here I have them as well. I do have these in so many variations, which is really nice because this one is really big and this one is just a little bit smaller. So this one will be okay on an ATC. I do love this one. <laughs> or the Mad Hatter. Um... Okay, so these are all nice. And this one is a bit too big. This is a... Uh... Oh, this is too big. Let's just see. Yeah, this one is too big. Her head will fall off. So that's not nice. <laughs> I've got these. These are from AliExpress. And it's not the best quality, but it's really cute. They're really small. So I might use these. I'm not going to use the um, gorgeous stamps. Because, um, I don't know, I just don't feel like coloring that much. I really love her. Oh, I love this one. I won't say I love her, but she's very big. But of course I can use this part. But I really like this rabbit. So maybe I can use that as the white rabbit. These I got from one of you. And um, yeah, they're too big for this. Oh, I do want to make a card with this one. So that's for a card. And... There's a plane coming over. Okay. And then here you have... These are very cute. And they do fit. So maybe these... Oh, these are nice. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, this one with... Wait a minute. <laughs> Sometimes you need to go through your stamps and then you find ideas. I can maybe... Do... Oh, over here's the rabbit as well. And it's not that big. So I can use this rabbit. I can use Tweedledee and Tweedledum. But I wanted to use the queen... And put some cards behind her. That's really nice. So that's one. And then maybe this one. And these have really nice quotes. Curiouser and curiouser. I love why is a raving like a writing desk. We still haven't found out. Um, well, these are nice. And then here I have some more. You know what? That's a bit too much. Let's just uh, put these back. Let's just go with what I have over here. Let's see. Oh, but um, where was I? Did see a little Mad Hatter. Where is it? <laughs> where did I see it? <laughs> oh, this one. If it says, "Why is a raven like a writing desk?" That's really nice. Or was it the March Hare that's asked that? I thought. I think it was the Mad Hatter. <gasps> I need to check that. But anyway, it uh, it'll be nice. It's Wonderland. It doesn't matter. <laughs> So I'm going to start with the queen. Let's start off with that. <laughs> oh, here you have the dodo. That's nice as well. So, right. So I've got the queen. And I think I'm going to stamp her on a piece of... Sorry, separate paper. I also love Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm going to do those as well. Um, right. Some ink. Archival ink. I need it to be waterproof because maybe I'm going to use my Arteza Twin Markers. They are very wet, so I'm not sure if that's the best for this, but we'll find out. <laughs> so I'm going to start with stamping the Queen on a piece of paper that I need to get. Just a second. Does this fit? No, it doesn't. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use my this block, because then I can push a bit harder. 
Okay, here we go. Yay. <laughs> like I said, I've been wanting to do this for ages and I just never got around to it. So I want to make a few, one, maybe uh, three different ones. And if I like them, I'm gonna make a couple more of the same ones because I really need to trade a lot. And so I really like making more than one. Yeah, now I can use my Misty tool for this, but um, it'll probably not really work. <laughs> Here we go again. Before this gets to be a very long video, I tried it... Wait a minute, let me just take this off. This is better. I tried it with a Stamparatus and it just didn't work. So I've probably added that part out because the video is going to be too long. It took me about 10 minutes. But now I did it in one go. Very happy with it. And then I want to stamp the Tweedledee and Tweedledum as well. Okay, I also stamped the Mad Hatter. So I'm going to start with the Queen because I really think that is a nice idea. Let's put everything aside. So I thought I'd use these, but let me try them out on the one that didn't go right. So I, of course I do need the red, so let's try that. I might just use a few colors, not too much. I'm gonna go over this, see if it works or if it smudges the whole thing. It smudges the whole thing. Why is that? Because this is waterproof ink. So again guys, I might edit, have edited a lot out. Um, I stamped these stamps, so I might just have added that out because this is taking too long. Um, I have these four, which I really love, couldn't choose. So um, I used, what did I use? I used Archival Ink by Ranger. It's permanent and waterproof. So I stamped with it, I even dried it with the heat tool, but I'm not sure if you can see it. But when I would want to try the twin markers, it smudges. So I'm not sure what kind of stuff this is. <laughs> but uh, I stamped it again. Just the queen. And it's gonna try that with a light color. Let's see what happens when I go over it. This one wasn't really nice, so I'm just gonna go over it a bit. It smudges as well. I just don't get this. I have been filming for over half an hour. I'm not sure what I'm going to leave in and what I'm going to edit out. But basically, I just uh, looked for some stamps and I think that's the part you just saw. Then I tried out all kinds of different... And this one actually... Inks. And I tried to color it in with the twin markers, but it just kept smudging. And smudging. And I thought, what's, what's going on? And this is all four different inks. Like this. Then I thought, oh wait, in my video where I did a review about these, I've been looking for the right paper. I think this paper, this is a stamping up paper, which is really nice to work with, but it's just maybe too smooth and it just doesn't dry as well, although I did heat set it, but oh well. So I took out uh, the mixed media paper from Arteza itself and I stamped it with Versafine. First this one, that's a new one, and then this one. That didn't work. <laughs> so let me get rid of all of these. And, and this one, I need to re ink it. So I'm gonna use this first, fine. And I tried it on uh, with some, uh, tried some light ink, some <laughs> light marker on it, and it works. So haha, half an hour later, and we're finally here. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm just gonna make two of these ATCs. I'm gonna color this, but of course by now the battery is flashing. Because for you this has been a video of maybe eight minutes or so, but for me it's been over half an hour, even longer. <laughs> Let's start all over again. So, I need a new battery and I need to figure out if there is a skin tone. They didn't have that in here, did they? No, so I'm gonna do that with pencil. I did that the last time as well. They don't have a skin tone, which is really... why not? Uh, it's all very dark, but maybe I'll just leave her skin white, because the playing card, her face is very white, of course. 
maybe I'm just gonna do that. Let's figure that out. Um, of course I want to use red. Maybe these colors are way too bright for this. I'm just gonna color a bit. I might just use red and white and that's it. I'm not sure. Well, that'd be nice. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I always ask you, but you can never answer because then I just go on. Uh, I think I'm just gonna make it black, white and red. And I want to put these cards behind it. So I need to figure it out. So this is gonna be red, of course. So once you found the right paper, like I said in the review video, this is awesome stuff to work with. Just look at it. It just works so easily. So, oh, I can do the crown yellow. I can do that. Uh, I still haven't changed the battery and I haven't opened the curtains, but oh well. <laughs> this is a weird video anyway, so. A yellow crown or shall I make it a little bit more orange? Because these are amazing markers. I just love them. Okay, I do feel a bit like Alice now. I'm getting a bit more annoyed. <laughs> Because I opened the court curtains, but this is a shade from our tree outside. So can't help it guys. It's just like this. Oh well. And uh, the battery died on me, of course. <sighs> curiouser and curiouser. Actually, annoyinger and annoyinger. Um, let's just color this in. And um, like I said, I'm just going to use a few colors. So I'm not going to be too picky about what I do. What is her crown and what isn't. So this can be yellow. And uh, I'm gonna speed this up because I feel like this is gonna be a very long video. So here we go. Oh, wait. For those little things, it's best to use this side of the marker. I love this marker. Okay. Okay, here we go. So guys, I think I like her like this. Nice. Okay, haha. <laughs> that took some doing, but oh. But it worked out okay. In the end. <laughs> so let me just put these aside. And now I need to fussy cut it. So that's fun as well. So I'm gonna fast forward that too. And I hope this works. I have bought new scissors. At Ikea, these are my favorite scissors. They're a bit, they need to be used a bit, but I know they're big and I know they look like toddler scissors, but I can scissor with them, I want to say. Cut with them very well. Maybe the little fingers are a bit too much. I need smaller scissors for that. But the rest, I love using these. I know, I'm a bit weird. But it's for me easier to work with big scissors like these than to have those little tiny things except for at this moment okay i'll fast forward the rest okay that wasn't the easiest thing to fussy cut and i want to make maybe five more <laughs> so that's gonna be fun okay haha -ha, finished so now i've got the card and I want to put this on here. And maybe a higher number so you see more hearts. <laughs> Six. And ten. What do you think? And maybe a quote. It's all fun and games until the queen arrives. So that's just a bit too much. Why is there not off with her head? That would have been fun. Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Uh, wow. I don't have a, na a nasty quote. <laughs> it's just for you. Oh, come on. Now I really went to, through all this trouble to make this and now I don't have a quote. <laughs> Or maybe it does fit. Let's just see. This one says it's all fun and games. This one says until the queen arrives. 
That's a lot of words. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Because I would have liked off with her head. But um, I don't have that one. Maybe they think it's too much. <laughs> so, um, a block. I need a block. My kingdom for a block. Or I need a block or off with your head. <laughs> so let's try it out on a piece of paper. Fun and games. It's all fun and games. I hope you can see it with this weird light. So I'm working in a bit of shade, but oh well. It's all fun and games. Well, it is. So much fun until now. <laughs> oh boy. Until the queen arrives. Oops. Oh, it is nice. It is nice. So I can sponge these. I do like it. I'm going to sponge this one with black and this one with red. Because I can. No, I can't. I only have one sponge. Let's use this then. It's so stupid that all that shade. Oh, no, no. It's one of those days, guys. <laughs> I hope you can still see it, even though I'm working uh, with weird lighting. Maybe I can just close the curtains. Let's see what that does. So this is red, and then I want some black. And the other one. And now I have to make decisions, guys. <laughs> Do I? Make the background red and sponge it with black, or do I sponge it with red and use a black background? Let's think about that while I close the curtains. Okay, so I need to fill this because I only have one black left and I think one or maybe two red cards. So uh, I've made a lot lately. Well, the last two years. So let's just see. I think I like red better. Yes, so I'm gonna sponge this black. But I don't want to use this sponge. I want to use a kitchen sponge. You just have a little bit of a different look. It's a bit more distressed, maybe. And I really like that. I hope. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So I put this over here and then I put these over here and then I put her over there. Yeah, right, it needs a bit more. This needs to be a bit red as well. Question is, can I do that? Let's try it on the background. Do I like it? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna dab it a bit. Because now it's light red. If I would have taken new ink, it would have been dark red. <laughs> Figure it out. Okay, here we go. So, I need to glue this on. I'm just gonna use glue, real glue. So not double-sided tape, but real, real glue. Oh. Um, oh, I'm just gonna do it. Don't you just love these cards? Look at them. <laughs> I bought these, I think, at the Action. These are very cheap party gifts, actually. But they're really nice to use in art journals and on ATCs and cards and stuff. Um, it's okay if it goes a bit over the edge, because that's gonna be underneath. So it might even be fun. So this one is gonna go over here and it's probably a bit too much. 
Oh well. <laughs> I hope this is okay. <laughs> just, actually, it's just a bit too much, but oh well. It'll do. So let's just <laughs> glue this on my ATC as well. So. It's just a little bit too big. Question is, am I cut, gonna cut it off or am I just gonna leave it on? It's just a little bit too big. I'm just gonna leave it on. And now for the queen. I feel it needs something else. It's a bit. But what? But what? Oh boy. Now I can ruin the whole thing with one or two. Oh, some roses. This one has roses. So I'm gonna use the red ink, but I'm just gonna use a little bit. So, question is, do I have time to make another Alice A to C? Because this took a lot of time. I have no idea. I've been on this, working on this for I think an hour by now. But. I do want to make an, an oh, I'm just gonna put it over here. Beep. I do want to make a, an Alice one as well, so it might be a very long video or I might just speed up the process a lot on the next one. So something like this. This is better. And let's glue on the queen. And then I have my first Alice in Wonderland ATC. That I think the first one I ever made. Yes, I never made one myself. And then I started with the queen. <laughs> okay, I do really like it. <laughs> Look at it. Look at her. And now actually I like the fact that the cart is going off the A to C a little bit. It's really fun. I like it. <sighs> so this is my first A to C guys and I need to make, uh, I want to make five more of these. Okay, let's make another one. So let's put all of this aside. This is for when I want to make this one again. I want to make an Alice in Wonderland one and I didn't stamp that on the paper. Let me show you which paper I'm using. So I think the paper that works best with this, when you just color it, is Arteza uh, Mixed Media Pad. And these aren't, uh, these are 180 grams, so this is easy to fussy cut. The other ones that they have are very thick. Uh, it's more like cardstock and it's very hard to fussy cut. This is really easy to fussy cut. Anyway, I've got this one. Now I want to make an Alice. And I want to do it quick, because pew! First, I need an Alice. So I need paper. Is this enough for Alice? Where is she? This is not big enough for Alice. Alice is too big. She's grown. Okay, this must be big enough. So I'm using Versafine. Because it's really nice for these detailed stamps. I just don't know what I had planned with Alice. Do you know? I did know, I do know what I want to do with uh, Mad Hatter, but Alice, greetings from Wonderland. She is very big. I mean, she almost takes up the whole thing. So I might just have Alice and I might have it say, okay. I don't know where I stopped again. 
<laughs> this is such a weird video. But it is a Wonderland video, so it can be weird. So I did stamp her. I want to use the Curiouser and Curiouser stamp, but I'm not sure if it fits. So we'll need to find out. And I want to color Alice. But first I'm going to do the A to C. I want to use <laughs> a bit of this. Let's put her over here so I don't do something wrong with it. Spritz some water and then go over it. Oh, this is really nice. It's one of those videos, isn't it? Ew. It just doesn't work today. I wanted to make a real nice distressed background. Let's try that again with just tattered rose. <laughs> it's just not working, guys. I don't know what's going on, but it's just not working. Do you have days like this when everything you try just goes wrong? I use this a lot. Maybe these are different cards. I don't know, but I do. Th I used to do this a lot. Just use some distress stain. Okay, I can handle this. I'm just gonna do something else. I just going to sponge it with that color. That's now gone. <laughs> just do it like this. Then I need to do something. <laughs> Weird. I'm having such a weird day today. Maybe this wasn't the best day to start filming. Maybe that's it. But it's gonna work in the end. It always does. Most of the time. So I use Tattered Rose. Yeah, let's make sure it's dry. And I'm gonna sponge it with... A uh, vintage photo, but I just need to cut this off because I used black and this is my last sponge, of course. Of course it is. No, this one. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Here I go. Ah, that's better. Is it recording? Yes, it's even recording. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I actually really do like this. It's a bit vintage, it's a bit distressed, it's a bit weird. I like it. Now I really want to go over it with this a bit, but not too much. Okay. So I want to color her with pencils. And How am I going to do that? I don't have really a nice skin tone. I have a bit beige, that's not a skin tone, or I have yellow. Or I do have this one. Yes, let's try that one. Now, this is a bit hard to see for me. But let's hope it doesn't smudge too much. Smudge too much. Now, officially she has white socks, but I don't think you will notice that it's that they're white socks. So I'm just going to give her bare feet, uh, legs. So I've got this, and I've got this, and where was that quote? So these stamps are by, where's the queen? Crafty Individuals. And this is from Indigo Blue. Indigo Blue? Indigo Blue? I don't know. Um, curiouser and curiouser. It doesn't really... well, maybe over here. But what is curiouser and curiouser? <laughs> I'm not going to show you what is. Uh, let's see if I have some little item I can stamp over there. 
um, floating teapots. I can do a clock. Let's do that. So I'm going to stamp that one. Let's try not to lose that one. Over here with vintage photo. And I have no idea what's up and what's down. But that's Wonderland as well. Hm. I like it. She's not looking at it though, but... <laughs> well, isn't that curious? <laughs> and very weird. So now it's full of these little clocks. Why not? Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp this over here. This is gonna be so very nice. It's probably not gonna fit. And I'm gonna do that with walnut stain maybe. Let's try it out on a piece of paper. Walnut stain. Hmm. First of all, it's upside down. Okay, I do like that. Here we go. I'm gonna do it over here. <gasps> I did it. It's not completely straight, but it's enough. So now I only need to, oh my gosh, that's awesome. I like it. Hmm, this is nice. No, I like this one. <laughs> Never thought I would, but I do. Or a bit of the pink that's somewhere in here. <gasps> I like this better. Okay, it's been decided. <laughs> and I don't think I need to do anything else. This is just nice. I always feel like I need to do something over here now, but no, this is nice. This is it. So let's glue the lot on. I have no idea how long this video is by now. And I have no idea if it's a bit, if you can understand it because I am deleting so many <laughs> parts of this video because yeah, everything just went wrong and it took me so long. I think by now, for real, I've been filming almost two hours. But time is different in Wonderland. So for you, it seems like probably 40 minutes or so, <laughs> which is still a long video. So I better hurry this up. Oh, I like it. Oh, I want to make more of these, even though this was... <sighs> oh my goodness, guys, it didn't record. It didn't record. Of course it didn't record, because it's a Wonderland video. Everything is upside down and... <sighs> So like uh, I had probably said, I'm not sure if you heard it, uh, this video has been about two hours and uh, yeah, but it's been a <laughs> long journey, but when it's finished, I mean, look at it. I love them. So when I started out with this one, I thought, mm, I'm not really sure. And then this one, what do I do with the background? And I like it. It's really awesome. So... <laughs> Uh, like I said, I hope this video will make any sense to you. If it doesn't, well, too bad. It's an Alice in Wonderland video. Uh, lots of things don't make sense over here. So, <laughs> but I do want to make more of these. Now that I know how I make these, I'll probably make five more in an hour. So it'll be two hours work. And <laughs> then I can trade some of these lovely ATCs and put them in my ATC book. So in this book, I'm going to put... Uh, it's a long video, so I can show you. These I already showed you. I'm going to do a spread over here. I have two ATCs over here that I got from Kirsten. I already showed you. I want those over here. And maybe I'm going to put these over here. This one, I'm not sure. Oh, well, why not? So, anyway, this is for another day. I'm just going to put them in here. They're safe in here. So guys, I would love to know what you think about my two Alice in Wonderland ATCs. These are the first two I 
ever made. I think I don't think I ever made an Alice in Wonderland A to C, and I want to make so many. I just hope they are a bit more easy than this. So this one was quite hard to make, <laughs> but I like the end result, and this one was a bit more easy. So I'm in the flow of making Alice in Wonderland A to Cs now, and I want to make more. So again, let me know what you think about them. I would love to hear that. And uh, do you want to trade? Well, give me some more time because I do have to make more of them. And uh, well, as always, I hope you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Then you get notified of my videos. And apparently by now that's really important, that notification bell. So hit the notification bell if you haven't already. <sighs> and all that's left to say is... Groetjes from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.